45 years ago today, the SS Edmund Fitzgerald sank in Lake Superior. All 29 crew members died. It was the largest ship to have ever sunk in the Great Lakes. Its resting place, 530 feet below the lake surface, allowing only experienced divers with expensive submersible vehicles to visit it. 13 on your sides, Brent Ashcraft spoke with someone who not only has dove the Fitzgerald wreck site, but saw something at the bottom that still haunts him to this day. The gales of November, they're no joke. You get a beautiful day like today, and then it snaps into a cold front that, you know, sends it sub-zero. Documentarian Rick Mixter knows this to be fact. After 200 feet, no more sunlight can penetrate through Lake Superior. Because he's one of the few. It ripped our hearts out. To have seen it up close and personal. You've seen pictures of the Fitzgerald, but had no idea how intact it would be. The bow section looks like it could still sail, you know, and as you went through and saw the damage, it was very sobering, beat up and buried into the mud where that ship came down with such force into what looks like an underwater hill or, or you know, a half mountain, if you will. Mixter traveled 530 feet to the bottom to investigate. We took a two-person submersible called the Delta. The Great Lakes' most famous graveyard. I saw everything from the letters of the Fitzgerald to the pilot house, a blanket hanging out of the window, um, phones. It hit the bottom with such force that it ripped the spar deck, the deck that has the hatches, away from the hull. So there's a massive gap that's right inside um, the, the top going towards the uh, port side of the ship. That's from the, the massive momentum of 26,000 tons of taconite pushing forward when it hit the bottom. And around the bow section, you can see the prow of the ship in its thick, thick steel bent over 90 degrees from that collision with the bottom. He also saw something. Discovered the first missing crewman. Unexpected. They went so close that they recorded the entire face, the body, and these mysterious blocks that were on the body that looked like bricks. But later on, we figured out that was a cork life vest. His hour and a half with the fits is burned into his brain. We couldn't believe it. Forever. I wish, really wish I could go back someday. Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side.